Did you know that you can earn up to $100 per day just by playing NFT games? Well, it's true. You guys can play using these games to set up a pretty solid stream of a passive income. If you guys want to learn how to utilize this strategy, stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, this is Dark Money Secrets and today I'm going to teach you how to make $100 a day just by playing NFT games. If you like this video, drop your comments down below, hit like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. It's an amazing time we live in. I mean, can you imagine having the ability to earn money simply by playing games? I certainly didn't. The good news is that all of you guys can earn by playing NFT games. Today, I'm going to show you a list of cool games that you can play to earn up to $100 a day. Ready? Here goes. The first game on our list is called Splinterlands. It's a game that has thousands of players trading cards and competing all around the globe. In fact, it's one of the most popular blockchain trading card games. First called Sea Monsters for the blockchain where it was first launched in 2018. However, it has since grown, increasing its active users, market transaction volumes, and rewards awarded to participants. It's currently running on the Hive blockchain. Basically, when a player collects a card, it is theirs to keep, and no one, not even the makers of the game, can remove it from the player's possession. Additionally, Anyone can buy, sell, or trade them. Pretty cool, right? This game is very interactive, guys, and it's also redefining what it means to be a collectible. Plus, it'll be good old fun to be able to connect and play with people around the globe. This is definitely worth a try, you guys. The next game on our list is called Voxies. This Ethereum blockchain hosts 3D voxel pals called Voxies. They're basically these cute Roblox-looking figures that are worth a lot of money. In fact, every Voxy is unique in its own kind. Fun fact, there are only 10,000 of them. Crazy, right? Who knew these cute creatures are worth so much? Each Voxy is cute and endearing in its own way, thanks to its unique sets of attributes and personalities. Here's the cool part. You can engage in tactical battles with your Voxies, explore a 3D Voxy environment, and interact with NPCs to get new gear for your Voxies. Like other tactical turn-based RPGs, this game lets its players take control of a large cast of characters. The goal of each game is different, but take note, the Voxy token is crucial to the project. You'll earn these tokens by engaging in fights and other actions for profit outside of the game or in-game for a variety of purposes such as buying items, armor, and cosmetics. It will be possible to utilize it. The next game on our list is called Coin Hunt World. This is a location-based game where players find coins in order to get ahead. The awesome part is that you can play it solo or as a group with your friends. It's similar to Pokemon Go, but definitely a lot better. It's more community-oriented, action-packed, and well, a pretty good experience overall. It lets its players interact with each other. Definitely a good game to play with your friends if you're bored. To unlock bolts containing cryptocurrencies and rare NFTs, you'll have to collect multiple keys of different colors throughout your city. Awesome, right? The next game on our list is called Crop Bites. Now, what's pretty impressive about the game is that it was ranked 7th after being released early in 2018. It also became the go-to choice for investors. Bear with me guys, I'm about to get a little technical here. Basically, what gave this game an edge was its complete market cycle, which allowed the game's economic and gameplay systems to be fine-tuned. This lets players expand their crypto holdings despite market volatility. In short, it gave the players a sense of stability, and that's pretty cool. The game's goal is to be able to build a virtual world where everyone can acquire, trade, and own assets. 
What happens is that farming businesses and strategy games are created in a crypto-based setting by the company staff. The players of this game are smart too, as they've found strategies to make the most out of their money. On the other hand, the Unity game engine was used to build crypto bytes. Games may be developed for iPhone, Android, and the web using the latter's popular platform. Now this next game is called Seed Project. This game was created using NFV technology in an effort to eliminate the global MMORPG era, play to win. The game's goal is to be fair and transparent at all costs. All the game's assets are encrypted by NFP, including the player's weapons, armors, and abilities. This includes completing quests, taking down monsters, and leveling up. Simply put, no one has the advantage against the publisher. Shield tokens, otherwise known as native tokens of the Project Seed RPG, are used as a tokenized version of experience points to prevent players from cheating. NFTs are also the game's currency, and what's cool is that these NFTs may be sold or rented directly on the game's marketplace by any player owning a significant amount of these NFTs. Additionally, Shill coins may also be kept for long-term investment or exchange for USDT after experience or shills accumulate significantly. Crypto Fight is next on our list. This is a turn-based combat game, which has a lot of abilities that players can use to hurt their opponents. Players of the game must be efficient at wielding powerful weapons, hiding, avoiding, and using spells to their advantage. Well, the worth of a successful character increases over time, as players and spectators place bets on the outcomes of bouts. Players can use the Chromeverse marketplace to trade game objects that are recorded on the Bitcoin blockchain. It's important to note that there are a number of advantages of using a blockchain, like improved transparency, replays of prior bouts, and a full analysis of each combat. The next game on our list is called Grasshopper Farm. Playing this game is as simple as opening a messaging program on your phone and sending a message. Players can even buy a Telegram bot and use it to fight against opponents with their Telegram-based Grasshopper army. How cool is that? For players to advance in the game, they will need to recruit additional hoppers, build and develop buildings, and engage in battle with other players. If you want to grow your farm faster, then you'll have to send hoppers on missions and form swarms with other farmers to accomplish collective tasks. Cool! The next game on our list is called Ethermon. As Ethermons mature, alter, or reproduce, they acquire experience and they may become stronger. You can even explore the world in the game in search of these cute little fellas to add to your collection, or trade the ones you have. Better act fast, you guys, because Ethermon supply is limited and it won't be long until a whole generation is no longer catchable. The next game on our list is Medieval City States. In this mobile, tablet, and desktop-based game, Players have the ability to earn real money by trading the resources on the global market. Graphics-wise, the design of each building and infrastructure is stellar. In fact, every building is even hand-painted. To change the state of your city, you must gather, produce, and sell high-demand resources that may even result in a profit. And finally, we save the best for last. The number one game on our list is called My Crypto Heroes. In this game, players assume the roles of historical heroes and go on quests to find rare objects. Players also compete against one another for rewards and authority. Players can acquire rare ER-71 tokens and original extensions simply by sending their heroes into dungeons and completing quests. Isn't that fun? And let's not forget, players can even engage in competitions tailored to various player capabilities. Need more motivation? Say no more. The greatest players in the game get rewarded with ERC721 and Perpetual Renown, two types of original extensions. 
Auctions are also how new heroes are added to the game. Prices often start at half the price of the previous auction's closing price. And there you have it, guys. These are 10 free NFT games that you can play this 2022 to earn money. Who knew you could play video games and get paid for? I hope you enjoyed the video and let us know in the comments how this goes for you guys. As always, this channel is dedicated to bringing you fresh content to help you build the life you want through side hustles. Once again, this is Dark Money Secrets and if you like the video, hit like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. That's it and see you in the next video.